Hey guys, what's up? 279 here once again. I've got my. What's USB up, 279? How are you, 279? Dad, you're funny. Oh, yeah, 279. I've got my paper USP, what it's going to look like when it's done. And so it's going to cock back like this and reveal an open chamber. And it's also having. going to have a clip like this. Now, let's actually get to making stuff. Gosh darn it! Alright, so, now, what we should have right now is this base thing for the gun. This base thing? <laughs> you don't even know what it's called. Um, so, right now... Except now that nobody's doing. Dad, stop. So, you should pull it, the little flap tube that we made that fits over the shooting barrel and it should reveal an open chamber but if yours goes up a little bit too far and reveals the chamber too that's fine because we're going to be making a cover up for this but, but before we do that we are going to make a um, handle for our gun now just roll up a um, I wouldn't exactly call it a tube, I'd call it a really wide tube. So about that wide. And then fit it to your hand size. If, if it, it fits your hand size just perfectly, take, take a piece of your handy dandy tape. Oh, that is not what I wanted it to do. fans. I, that was just my dad messing with me. So as you can see, mine fits my hand. It's pretty, pretty comfortable. And now if you can, if the top is bigger than the bottom, you're going to want to cut the clip. I'd say about this big. And then see if you can fit it inside of your what's going to be your handle. Now, cut your if your handle is a little too big for your hand, just cut it down a little bit. All right, all right. So now we've got our handle thing, but now we're not done with it. To make it look fancy like this, we're gonna just do do what I did. All right. So what I did was I took a piece of paper and I rolled up. A fairly big tube. Uh, and so. Um, then I saw how long it uh, took to, um, to cover the complete bottom. So then what I did was I just took it with the side of my hands, take the tube, push down flatten it so that you have this flat thingy flat crush tube whatever you want to call it and we're going to be using all of this tube so be sure you save this because this is going to be for your um, attachments part for, for your working rail system alright so now take your clip out of the handle size it and then m mine was about, mine was this big. Now what you do is you take your clip, put it on the thing you just made, okay? And then take your tape, and if you wanna make it look cool, then do what I was doing, what I just did. And so then you tape it on to the bottom of that flat tube you just made. And, um, well, now you've got yourself a handy dandy clip for storing the bullets that you're gonna put. Alright, um, j just let me make my clip a little bit better. There, as you can see, it's good. Now take your handle and put it in the clip and push it to the max. Alright, I like mine a little bit, my handle a little bit bigger than the clip so that you just make it fall out as I want. Alright, now we are going to tape 
Now, what you're gonna do, this is the challenging part. Don't take this off yet. Well, actually, no, just go ahead and take this off. All right, so now take, I don't know, about a half sheet of paper. And if you don't have a half sheet, cut, cut a piece of paper in half. And then um, what you wanna do is you wanna size it, like kind of wrap it around. Like mine uh, is a little too big, so I ha have to cut my paper down a little bit. And so, if you if you put your your whatever you want to call this your mechanism that you're going to be pulling back on, so you want it uh, uh, to be not too big and not too small. Now, if you can see, mine was a second ago a little too big. Alright guys, this is the end of the vid. I'm going to be making another vid showing how to do that next. Whoa! Okay. Bye people! Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!